Hello and welcome to Someka Gun Chart Maker in Excel. This tool allows you to create gun charts in Excel easily with your own data. Before going into details, let me show you quickly what the tool does. On the left hand side, we have entered some project tasks. I click the button to create my gun chart and it is ready in a few seconds as you see. Okay, this is basically what the tool does, but of course there are lots of handy features which lets you customize your gun chart according to your own needs. So now let's explore together. First, let me reveal the settings section. Here. Yeah. Okay, now I clear now I click the clear data button and it asks for confirmation so that we can start from scratch for our demo purpose. Okay, it cleaned up everything. Now this is the start date. I am going to enter my project start date here, so let's make it the first of August. Okay, this is our data section for our tasks and duration management. I click on the task number to create some new tasks. Select one and write job one, and I select two and write job two. I'm going to create a new subtask for job and to name first subtask of job two. As you see, as I enter new option, new uh, tasks. The tool shows me more options for uh, the new tasks. This is um, called VBS, Work Breakdown Structure, and if you are into the project management, most probably you are familiar with the concept. If you are new, no need to worry, tool handle, handles it for you. Okay, by the way, this drop down depth is defined here. So, for example, if you think that you won't go deeper than 2, level 2, then you can choose it here so it will be easier for you to create new uh, job numbers. So let's make it three and create a new subtask which will be called the second subtask of job two. I can manually uh, type the task numbers as well. Let me create another uh, job here. So let's write three, but I'm going to put a comma here. So the tool will warn you that you can only use the dots and numbers in the task number. So if you make a mistake, you can change it in time, but by writing it again. So I created a new main task. It will be the job three. As you have noticed, to automatically indents the subtasks according to its level. When you change the test number, indentation will be reapplied. So let's make it four. You will see indentation change because now this seems to be like a main task. So I change it back to 0.2 and uh, lastly another cool formatting option here is default tasks. So if you select this your main tasks will be bolder. Okay let's leave it like it here for now. Now let's define some categories for our tasks. I'm going to define category 1 job one category two for the second job and category G for the oops, for the last one I'm going to skip the responsible person for now and let's enter some duration for our each task let's put some random numbers for now and see how will it work Okay, now we are ready to create our simple gun chart. Okay, here you go. One thing you may notice here is the total duration of second main task is not the sum of subtasks. Some people prefer to create with this freedom, but if you want totals to be calculated automatically for main tasks, you can turn this feature on. The auto subtotals feature. So let's update our Gantt chart. Now you see the main task uh, duration is now equal to the subtask duration totals. Note that when this feature is active, it automatically changes values to keep the logic. So even if I change the duration here, so let's make it 3, as you see it reverses back. If you don't want this feature and want 
full freedom, you can anytime turn this feature off. Okay, now let's add some different colors to our tasks. Coloring is defined at advanced settings. So let's go there and this section is um, used for category coloring. So I see here my categories and I select them and let's paint each category with different colors. Okay, my color selection may not be perfect, but you can choose any color from EXA. Okay, let's go back and update our gun chart. As you see, colors are applied according to the categories. You can also change the colors of holidays as well. So this is the off days colors. So let's make off days color a little darker even darker okay please note here when I update my gun chart they will be painted automatically okay great but uh, we have an issue here my third task is starting too late I want it to start earlier so how do we change this by default tool sets the dates of each task thinking that it will follow the previous job but we can change this by inputting manual dates Let's click on the input dates button here and let's change the start date of job 3. I'm going to make it the 5th of August or oh, it's a weekend so let's make it the 7th of August. And update my gun chart so I don't want it to start the 18th of August but start earlier. So now it changed the dating. One thing about the task management. Uh, while entering the new jobs to our tasks table, you don't need to keep them in order. For example, let's add another subtask to the job 2, which will do 0.3, and let's say third subtask of job 2. Uh, you can leave your table like this, or you can easily sort the table by just clicking this button so you see the it replace and change the placement uh, same thing applies while deleting jobs you don't need to insert or delete rows just delete the job here just delete this row and sort the table then it's done okay now another cool feature of our gun chart maker tool defining holidays and off days you know not every business works in the same days so you may want to change the holidays for your own business this is managed in the advanced settings so let's go there okay the work days and holidays the first section is the standard weekly work day so for example i can make the tuesday an off day as well i change it back again and the second section is national holidays or some specific dates on which your project will be on hold. For example, if I enter here the 2nd of August as a holiday and let's say dummy holiday and I go back to my gun chart and update it, you see the 2nd of August is also a holiday and the, the each task has enlarged one more day you see this is a great feature for the most accurate project time management last thing before going into report settings is the progress feature you may want to input progress for each of your tasks from here like 30 percent or 70 percent or whatever you like if you just don't use it you can hide it from here to save some space Okay, now we are going to look at reporting settings, but it's better to use some more data for this purpose. So I'm going to use my existing data from another spreadsheet. Before putting it here, let me clear the data here. Okay, now I can just copy and paste it here. I 
I can choose them one by one, but I have already prepared better colors, I think, for this demo. Okay. Now let's update our gun chart. I'm going to change this off base color to a more lighter color as well. Okay, great. Now, this is the daily view. In daily view, you can change how you want to see the day name initials. For example, at the moment, the first letter is shown, but you can show the first two letters like this, or you can completely hide the day names. You can choose to show holidays or hide them. For example, the 2nd of August is our dummy holiday and other weekends and other holidays. So if we hide them, the holidays will not be shown on our gun chart. I can see the report in weekly view. Size. Changing the daily view to weekly view. Now it shows us in the weekly view or you can change it to monthly view as well. Okay, the last feature here is really cool, the report that feature. Let's say you are the boss and are not interested in details, just want to see the big picture. Report depth is used for this purpose. If I decrease the depth to level 1, for example, it will only show me the main tasks. So if I want to go back and make a micromanagement for each of my tasks, I will choose the highest number possible. And let's choose weekly view. And I can work on this uh, with the settings. When you are done with your gun chart, you can easily export the PDF with this button here. So it gives you a PDF and you can just save it on your computer or do whatever you like. Okay, thanks for watching and if you have any questions, just reach us at www.someka.net Thank you!